Beloved children of God, welcome to chapel at the Pacific School of Religion. We're so glad that you joined us this morning in person and online. Our Christian Scriptures course students are convening today's service with some of our beloved GSR community members. We send a warm welcome to all. In our service today, with joyous hearts, we will hear lessons and sing carols that are familiar to us and have the opportunity to sing community songs that are cherished by different traditions. Moreover, we will also be honored to receive the Bahasa Indonesia prayer, a prayer in Sangar tribal tradition, asking for God's mercy, love, and grace by Reno Tiwa and Augustine Tiwa. Siblings of Christ, let us prepare our hearts to worship.
Welcome again to the third Sunday of Advent. We have reflected on hope, peace, and this week, light the pink candle of joy. Like hope and peace, joy is not always easy to experience in times like these. Many people, in fact, find it nearly impossible to feel joy during the holidays. Many are grieving and many are lonely or remember trauma associated with this time of the year. And so, as a circle of community, like the Advent wreath, we are called to surround those who may be suffering with our joy. On this day, we remember Mary's joy, who although pregnant in the midst of hostility, experienced joy at the possibility of how her child would help bring the kingdom of God to earth. And we remember her cousin Elizabeth, who was surprised by the joy of bringing forth life in her advanced age. And we recall that we too can be surprised by joy, even in times of despair. The joy of being loved by God, the joy of being loved in community, the joy of bringing love to others in our communities and our world. We can be surprised by the joy of affirming new birth coming to and through others, as Elizabeth did in Luke. For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb lived for joy. As we light this candle, hear the words of the poet Jan Richardson in For Joy, and look to be surprised by God's joy suddenly appearing in your life. You can prepare, but still it will come to you. By surprise, crossing through your doorway, calling your name and greeting, turning like a child who quickens suddenly within you. It will astonish you how wide your heart will open and welcome for the joy that finds you. So ready and still so unprepared. I invite us to rise and join us in singing uh, Oh Come All You Faithful. Uh, if you would like to use uh, our uh, uh, hymnal and have it pick one up already, you have them over. Uh, the the child's hymnal on the, on the card is number 148, and we will sing verses 1, 2, and 4. <laughs>
Our first lesson comes today from the prophet foretells in Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, one them light has shined. You have multiplied exultation. You have increased its joy. The rejoice before you, they rejoice before you as with joy at the harvest, as people exult when dividing plunder. For the yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor, you have broken as on the day of Midian. For the boots of the trampling warriors and all the garments rolled in blood shall be burned as fuel for the fire. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us, authority rest upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Great will be his authority, and there shall be endless peace for the throne of David and his kingdom. He will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time onward and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. I just remain seated and um, uh, seeing the silent night, first uh, three verses in the hymnal, um, and, uh, and also uh, to, to hear our uh, special uh, arrangement with and uh, back up with the song, Night is Silent, the Crow, we, we will uh, uh, give you the, um, the, the cue from when to when we will start singing Silent Night after our um, introduction as an ensemble. <laughs> Oh, 
Our second lesson is from Isaiah chapter 11. A shoot shall come out from the stump of Jesse and a branch shall grow out of his roots. The spirit of the Lord shall rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. His delight shall be in the fear of the Lord. He shall not judge by what his eyes see or decide by what his ears hear, but with righteousness, he shall judge for the poor and decide with equity for the oppressed of the earth. He shall strike the earth with the rod of his mouth and with the breath of his lips, he shall kill the wicked. Righteousness shall be the belt around his waist and faithfulness the belt around his loins. The wolf shall live with the lamb, the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the lion will feed together and a little child shall lead them. A Filipino Christmas Carol, Pastor Anaman. The town in Nazareth, Nazareth. To, a to a virgin and a man, a man named Joseph, Joseph of the house of, the of, house of David. David. The virgin's, the virgin's name, name was Mary. And he came, and to, he her came to her 
Greetings, Greetings faith. faith. The Lord is, the Lord with, is with you. But she was but much, she was much her his words, his words and pondered, and pondered what was this, might, this be. might be. The angel, the angel said, said, Do not be, do afraid, not be afraid, afraid, for you have for found, you have found faith. faith. And now we, and now we, and now and now you will, 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 will and you will name and you will name him. Will name him. Your feedback, sorry. <laughs> Is it okay? He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child will be born, will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is, and this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, here I am, the servant of the Lord, or here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. So you heard the herald angels sing, uh, and we'll see, um, there's one, uh, there's one and three. The fourth lesson, the coming of the light, John chapter 1, verses 6 through 14. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, or of the will of the flesh, or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth.
Join every verse in the first of all. Mm -hmm. Pelajaran kelima, kelahiran Yesus diambil dari Lukas 2 ayat 1 sampai 7. Pada waktu itu Kaisar Agustus mengeluarkan suatu perintah menyuruh mendaftarkan semua orang di seluruh dunia. Inilah pendaftaran yang pertama kali diadakan sewaktu Kirenius menjadi wali negeri di Syria. Maka pergilah semua orang mendaftarkan diri masing-masing di kotanya sendiri. Demikian juga Yusuf pergi dari kota Nazaret di Galilea ke Yudea, ke kota Daud yang bernama Bethlehem. Karena ia berasal dari keluarga dan keturunan Daud. Supaya didaftarkan bersama-sama dengan Maria, tunangannya yang sedang mengandung. 
Ketika mereka di situ, tibalah waktunya bagi Maria untuk bersalin. Dan ia melahirkan seorang anak laki-laki. Anaknya yang sulung, lalu dibungkusnya dengan lampin dan dibaringkannya di dalam palungan. Karena tidak ada tempat bagi mereka di rumah penginapan. So the children come, and so they have been coming, always the same way they come, born of the seed of man and a woman. No angels herald their beginnings, no prophets predict their future courses. No wise men see a star to show where to find the babe that will save humankind. Yet each night a child is born is a holy night. Fathers and mothers sitting beside their children's cribs feel glory in the sight of new life beginning. They ask, where and how will this new life end? Or will it ever end? <laughs> Each night a child is born is a holy night, a time for singing, a time for wondering, a time for worshiping. The sixth lesson, the shepherds visit Jesus. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today in the town of David, a savior has been born into you. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign to you. 
you will find a baby wrapped in clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and they found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in the manger. And when they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what they had been told about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds had said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. This is a call to give and a call to celebrate and uplift the Alameda Community Food Bank. For over 35 years, we have stood by our unwavering belief that food is a basic human right. We distribute millions of healthy meals every year and are on the forefront of new approaches to ending hunger and poverty. We're committed to creating a healthy, prosperous, and just community. So if you wish to get a few candles, place it on the altar. Ashley, you have text.
Prayer of Thanksgiving. Blessed are you, O Lord, our God, ruler of the universe, creator of light and darkness. In this holy season, when the sun's light is swallowed up by the growing darkness of the night, you renew your promise to reveal among us the splendor of your glory, made flesh and visible to us in Jesus Christ, your son. Through the prophets, you teach us to hope for his reign of peace. Through the outpouring of your spirit, you give sight to our souls that we may see your glory in the presence of Christ. Strengthen us where we are weak, support us in our efforts to do your will, and free our tongues to sing your praise. For to you, all honor and blessing are due now and forever. I invite you to take a moment in silence to reflect on those things for which you give thanks. In God's blessed and holy name, amen. amen. The seventh lesson is from the book of John, uh, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. They were in the beginning with God. All things came into being through them, and without them not one thing came into being. What has come into being in them was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overtake it. A Christmas Eve Litany by Rick Price. <laughs> Mary. Joseph. Shepherds. Three witnesses. Three perspectives. Three voices. Calling us tonight. Calling us to the story. Calling us to hear. To pause. To listen. To reflect. To respond. Respond to the flame of justice burning within. Respond to the new creation being born in front of us. Respond with joy to the good news being sent to us. The lowly are regarded with favor. The fearful are shown mercy. The weak are lifted up. Mm -hmm. The hungry are fed. The outsiders are welcome. And the diners. Scandalous. Risky. Promise of love. Is fulfilled. In you. Today. Amen. 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 The Christ light is being passed on to the next candle. We will have the opportunity to light our candles as well. Please come forward and our candles in the basket and on the altar. Please receive the candle of Christ. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you, Professor Grace, uh, Professor Bernie has an announcement and a few other things to do with you. We have a few events uh, this week and next at CLGS. Uh, today at 1230, there will also be a recording of it. Uh, Father Shannon T. L. Kearns is speaking on their new book, In the Margins of Transgender Man's Journey with Scripture. And then this Thursday, PSR alum uh, Rita Ramos will be speaking on LGBTQ advocacy in El Salvador. And then next Thursday, uh, join us for Clearing Hanukkah. Uh, that'll be Thursday at 1 p.m. with Rabbi Denise Taylor. Yes, William. I just wanted to acknowledge a work of the people that's been going on since September. This chapel, and everything that you have gathered together for the last three months, and also the participation of 
Professor Lisa and Professor Leonard and um, Professor Grace's classes. This has been so touching and so powerful. Thank you, Ms. Thank you, and thanks to everybody that has been a part, Professor uh, Rios and Evans. It's been very beautiful. And I wanted to take the opportunity to say a few thank yous of my own. Um, I want to say a special thank you to this one right here, and James. Yeah, yeah. He is a musician, a prophet, creative, so thoughtful, and so patient with me. So, happy holidays. <laughs> then there are two people who I'm still trying to also. Um, the, the musical Haley is still going on. So Sunday, I hope to go see the is it three o'clock? Yep. Three o'clock performance. If I'm interested in going, you can see me. Uh, there are two people, oh my goodness, who I'm learning from how to remain calm in storm. Mm -hmm. uh, one is sitting right there in front of the computers. Uh -huh. <laughs> Could not have a hybrid worship without them. I think Christopher left the room, but I have flowers for him and for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for uh, being in support. Thank you also to Yolanda, our chapel student assistant. Succulent and the colors. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. For uh, helping us with the hospitality, Beth Preston is not here, but she's also a part of the uh, chapel committee. I think I think I said to everybody that it's on the program, um, but this just couldn't happen without the work of so many. So. Thank you all very, very much. That's the last one. What is the last one? Let's give all a uh, big hand to Ms. Ann for her leadership and chapel. And the ways that the community has come and been gathered together. Uh, just a couple of quick notes of announcement. When is 510 today? A running group. We're still trying to grow. You still can join us. 510, we'll go running. We'll be right out in front. We don't run that far or that fast. We just run. <laughs> 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 so please do join us. Um, I do want to give a word of thanks to everybody for uh, the semester, the ways that education, the learning, growing has happened in the classroom in our activism in the community and in our service, in our remembrance, uh, and certainly of Ellie and others whom, uh, whose life uh, have touched us and who have uh, passed away. And uh, we continue to keep him and his family in our memories, in our hearts, in our prayers as we go into this holiday season. Uh, and so our gratitude to everyone. Uh, reminder, we are having some issues to share it with our Wi-Fi in the building. Uh, so just, uh, you know, a few of us uh, that normally would be here on Tuesday are working remotely and joining remotely today. That should hopefully be resolved sometime. That's probably like Christopher has to step out. We're still trying to figure out, chasing down the reason for these very complex system to go down and, and hopefully to try to find ways to prevent it from happening again. <laughs> so with blessings to everybody, I think Brett Rare for finals and for the end of the semester. And uh, usually we'll have a longer break over January. There's only a few things that will happen in terms of coursework, uh, but primarily we look forward to uh, you know, a blessed uh, holiday season for everyone, uh, and then also to return together in February. Thank you.
Please re receive the Christmas blessing by T. Bowler. God, we are waiting for love. Not the simple kind or the sweet be off the be kind, but the absurd kind. The kind wrapped in rags, resting in a bucket of animal food. Love enough to save us all. Blessed are we who look for love deeper, fuller, truer than we have ever known, than we could have ever hoped for. Blessed are we who seek you, the light that dawned so long ago in that dark stable. Love given, love received. Receive this gift, dear one. Love has come for you. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Let's rise and see. Go tell it on which uh, is created in the man. Oh, cool. Uh, Oh, fantastic. Thank you.